Hey everybody, welcome to the Great Service Comeback. It is 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, which means you and I are gonna spend a few minutes together. I'm Tony Johnson, your customer experience leader, and I have to tell you, this past weekend, I was spending some time with the family. You know how it is, you gotta decompress, you gotta take some moments to, you know, to really enjoy yourself, and uh, I was spending some time you know, around the pool over the weekend with my nieces. And you know, if you know anything about me, you will learn very quickly that I, I value my friends and my family, and uh, I, I love Disney, I love my wife, and uh, I adore my two nieces. And if you spend more than you know three minutes with me, you're gonna know each and every one of those three things. So anyway, this weekend I was spending some time with my nieces, and they are Snapchat queens. They absolutely love to get on, and at their age, who knew, right? But you know, they love to get on and make you know funny faces, and, uh, and upload images and those kind of things. And, and so, you know, we were messing around with some of the filters, and it really got me thinking that, you know, we haven't really talked about social media. And so, you know, I pride myself on being a bit of a social uh, media maven, if you will. I've got uh, close to 40,000 followers across many of my platforms. And so I thought today it might be a really neat opportunity to talk about how to really make sure if you have not adopted some of these social media platforms, how can you do that? So, you know, first and foremost, shameless plug, these are actually some of my social media handles. And I've been doing a lot of work with some, you know, with some new platforms here and there. And so I am, I am again sharing these with you right now. Please feel free to write them down and I'm gonna go ahead and turn those or right side up uh, so that you can actually read them. But go ahead and, and take a moment to look at those, follow me, go ahead and, and check me out and you can see some of the strategy and tactics that I employ there. But as we talk about what it means to be on social media, there are a few uh, do's and don'ts that I wanna share with you. So let's start with Facebook. So Facebook is indeed, you know, to this day still the, the juggernaut and the powerhouse. You know, most folks are there. It does have a bit of an older clientele, but depending on your demographic and what you're looking to sell, you know, Facebook might be for you. Here's the one thing to understand though, is that Facebook has really, I guess, put their foot on the, on the throttle, if you will, they put their foot on the brake. They really kind of put a choke on the algorithm. And all that means is that if you have a Facebook business page, you likely are only reaching just a few percent, probably less than 10% of your followers every single time you post. So, you know, again, Facebook has really throttled that content. Now, why would they do that? Because they wanna make sure that you're spending time for paid ads, that you're paying the money and, and putting it into their paid advertising because they're a for-profit organization. So just know that Facebook is still a very viable platform, but you have to make sure that you take the time uh, to use ads well and tactically and making sure that you're getting at the people you really wanna to get to. The second one is Instagram. Now, Instagram is the next Facebook, right? So that is, there are a lot of folks on there. It is not just the younger demographic as it was before. There are, are you know, folks like me on Instagram. There are a lot of business people and influencers on Instagram. There are a lot of the people you're trying to reach every day on Instagram. Just know that as you get into the Instagram platform, this is where you have to make sure that you understand that it is a visual medium. And every single platform we're gonna talk about, you will see probably 100 to 150% more participation with your post if it has an image or a video. But just know Instagram requires that, and it is a, a, a place where you can actually put more hashtags in. It is a place where great photography is coveted. It is the place where you go to live your best life. And also know that live links in your posts on Instagram as you are posting, it doesn't work. So a quick pro tip, you're gonna to have to change the, the, the link in your profile regularly to reflect your content because the, that is pretty much, other than a promoted ad, the only place that you can put a live link on Instagram. LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is, is the next one I wanna talk about. Now this is a fantastic place to connect with business folks with, with, you know, as opposed to where you couldn't make a phone call and connect with a decision maker, you can, you can IM them or DM them. My pro tip on, on LinkedIn is Keep it very business, keep it very focused on that. This is not a place for pictures of your dog, at least not yet. But think about if you're connecting with people, and, and I will give you another pro tip here. Uh, on, on LinkedIn, if you go on a following frenzy, which you can get away with on you know Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, hoping that people will follow you back, you, can, you can't get away with that on LinkedIn because people can actually report you for kind of spamming them or trying to follow a lot of people on the same day. And, and take it from someone who has been blacklisted for 15 minutes on LinkedIn, you gotta write a note, you gotta promise you won't do it again. So don't learn the lesson I did. Uh, if you wanna follow somebody, if you wanna connect with somebody on LinkedIn, send them a note along with that connection. You're more likely to 
get them to A, connect, and B, if they don't want to connect, not report you for being kind of a spammer. But if you just go in and follow like a thousand people, I promise you, your account will probably get shut down for a minute and you will have to beg to get back on LinkedIn. Now, the other two that I want to talk about very quickly are things like TikTok and Snapchat. Now, these are sort of the no man's land of social media. They are a much younger demographic, although I will tell you there are more and more folks on there who are decision makers, who are people who want to make sure that you uh, connect with businesses and things like that. But it is, these are both very fun platforms, both very fleeting platforms, if you will. For example, on Snapchat, if you post there, uh, the posts go away. If you, you know, direct message with somebody, in a lot of ways, those posts will go away. Uh, so the content there is not forever as it is on Facebook and Instagram. The other thing is, is on TikTok, a lot of folks value the fun, they value the, the dance moves and things like that. Now you don't have to be a, you know, sort of a dance specialist, because take it from me, I have zero rhythm, but you can actually take a moment to, you know, put a, a brief talk. Something I've actually been doing is snipping one minute out of these daily times that we spend together and putting some, you know, some fun tidbits in there and some, some notes and things like that, and then throwing it up on TikTok every day just to see what happens. Because right now it's a very exper experimental platform, but just remember, if you're chasing leads, if you're trying to connect with people, it only takes one. It only takes one amazing post, one connection to fuel whatever your business needs might be. So it is absolutely worth a try, particularly if you're posting the content yourself. It's You have nothing in it really but your time, which I get is valuable, but again, it's a renewable resource. So I, I think those two are, are sort of the no man's land. And then, then the one last thing I wanted to kind of mention, I understand I just said this other thing was the last thing, but it's not so much a social media place as it is more of a search engine these days, but it's YouTube. So if you look at what YouTube is great at, it is, you know, how do I change a light bulb? How do I rewire an outlet? I wanted to know how to make Belgian waffles the other day. I, I YouTubed it, you know? So it is, I think right now, the second or third most used search engine right behind Google, which is, you know, of course, fitting since, since you know, they're actually owned by Google. So just understand that people are constantly on YouTube. So if you post a video, an instructional piece, a great way to put up some ways to help your, your customers, your consumers, to give them a little bit of information, a little bit of help as you try to hook them in and get them to really need you. You know, I think cooking videos have become all the rage, videos on how to, videos on self-help and self-development. So whatever you can do to give a little bit of information to your customers, they are gonna love that and they are gonna see you as a business that's not just out for the dollar, but looking to help them as well. And really that's what social media is all about. It's this ability to connect in a very real way. So. Don't think so much about how everything has to look super professional, everything has to look super polished, everything has to be just so. Think more about letting your best self show through, your authentic, genuine self. And that may feel a little different on each platform based on what it really takes to succeed. But I will tell you, I've gotten a lot of advice from folks over the years on my video presence and, and none probably so compelling from my wife when she said, slow down, be yourself and let your personality shine through. I feel like that was probably the best advice I ever got out there in the world. And so keep that in mind because when you let that, you know, really flow out of there, people are going to see that. And today, now more than ever, people want to do business with people who have their best interest at heart, who are empathetic and who are extremely transparent and genuine. So uh, just remember, as you go forward, please make sure you check out my website, igniteyourservice.com slash comeback, because we are, I just read today, more mayors across the country are opening things up. We are deep blue in the middle of this great comeback. I wanna help, we can do this together. So shoot me a note, shoot me an email, we can get this done. There are affordable programs, affordable content, virtual live in the moment. We can talk more about social media and your strategy to connect with your customers. It is all on the table. So please reach out so we can help each other. So I'll see you tomorrow live at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. I've been Tony Johnson, your customer experience leader. Have a great day and we will see you soon.